Now, Fox 5 Sports from the Toyota Dealers Sports Desk. Yeah, the Aztecs get to keep dancing after a big win yesterday. And former assistant coach for San Diego State, Michael Brunker, joins us now to talk about it. First of all, Michael, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for the invitation. And what a day. What a great day. I mean, down to the yes. last second. I mean, how did you feel watching the game yesterday? I was on my feet. <laughs> I was standing and watching, and everybody, my wife was looking in the other direction, refused to look at it. You know, she didn't believe it. But what a game. Yeah. What a game it was played. And, and what a run San Diego State has had up to this point right now. Playing the number one team in the nation, right. knocking them off, and then playing a really tough Creighton team. Oh, my I'll gosh. tell you what, they, they're ready to roll for two more. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You think. They're going to go all the way. I know they're going they're all the way. Oh, I know. That's, right? that's confidence. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I like you, that. You've got to believe. And I think we heard that after the game, didn't we? They, they, they interviewed Darian after he made that free throw. And, you know, mm. what, what did you think? What was running through your mind? But he really talked about how you have to believe in the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and he could have. How many times have we seen folks step to the line and miss the free throws? He could have right. easily missed both gone into overtime, and then we would have won in overtime, right? <laughs> but to be able to step to the line, miss the first one, and hang in there, make mm. the second, and they end up getting the tip out of bounds, and they hit the game's over. And here we are going to the final four. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. I know. You have coached at yeah. so, so many levels. When you say stepping to the line, what is different this time that we're here talking about this, that we're in this moment right now? Well, just the opportunity to be at the, this level of the game. This is a, a national phenomenon in this country and has been for a long time to reach the final four to be able to move through that whole progression and beating the teams that they've beaten it and I'll tell you it's different the game is so much different from the time I went to the Sweet 16 at the University of Detroit with Dickie V Dick Vitale and we lost by one, five points to the number one team in the nation at the mm. time it was the University of Michigan we beat the team that eventually won the national championship Marquette but what's different right now is that you've got 68 teams in the race right now. You've got the transfer portal where players are coming in from all over other teams coming in. And the other piece that's happening right now is the NIL. The, the, San Diego State has beaten literally the best teams money can buy. They are not in the Final Four. And I guarantee you right now the players of San Diego State and Creighton and Miami and UConn, they're not getting the money that some of these other players mm, are getting mm. at these other schools. They're doing it for the love of the game, that's and right. that's what makes this beautiful right now. And, and what does this do for the program? What does this mean for them? The visibility, not only for mm. the city of San Diego, mm -hmm. San Diego State University, and the basketball program. I've long said that, you know, when I came here to coach at San Diego State from 1980 to 87, why can't it happen here? If it can happen in Louisville, if it can happen in, in Spokane up at Gonzaga, if it can happen at these other places, why not San Diego State? And now we're on that marquee right now, and everybody's mm. seeing it. And I think there's some folks that are really looking at this and looking at Coach Dutcher in his program and the university. This is a great university. This is a great city. That's why I'm still here after I got out of coaching in 1987. Yeah, and it's brought the whole community together, the school. Everybody's yeah. just so excited. It has, and, and it's a reason for excitement. And I think for right now, you look at all the alumni that are here in San Diego right now, and I know mm -hmm. you mentioned you went to UCSD and, yeah. and you went to Fullerton, <laughs> but if you look at all the college grads that have graduated over the years from San Diego State oh. that are so proud, and, yeah. and, and even if you're a parent, I didn't go to San Diego State, but our youngest of five did, and she's up oh. in Portland wearing her San Diego State oh, jersey and sweatshirt everywhere. It means <laughs> something everywhere because people are watching these games. Oh. You know what? It, so it, it, obviously we're excited. Final Four. They get to keep dancing, but it's not over. It's they, not over. So Florida Atlantic on Saturday. Yes. What does the team have to do to pull off a win with them? Well, I've long said you've got to keep believing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've ever gone to a San Diego State basketball game, they always start the game with, I believe that we can win. win. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. that we can win. Yesterday you heard the, uh, Darren interviewed. He talked about he believed he could make the free throw. He believed they belong. We have to believe that they belong yeah. and that they can compete. However, everybody that's left in the race right now believes too because yeah. that's the <laughs> mantra of every team that's playing. And once again, the, the blue bloods are gone. You know, all the, all the number ones are gone. Right. You know, the number twos are gone. I think the only ones left is is uh, wow. UConn right now, but wow. they're all gone, and so now those teams all believe the same way. It's going to be a great Final Four, and, and I know San Diego State is ready to continue playing. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, Michael, we're going to be on our feet too on Saturday. <laughs> well, you need to be. Uh, you need to be in Houston. Who, who are you guys sending to Houston? Oh. Now? 
probably Julie Delgado. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. been on the He was just there in Louisville, so oh, man. they probably, I know, he's Send good. Elizabeth Alvarez. She, she'd have <laughs> big fun down there, I tell you what. She, she would have great fun. But, I mean, everybody, if they'd get the opportunity. But more importantly, if you believe in San Diego State, I mean, let's mm. continue this mantra right now. Yeah. And, and just really believe that this can be done. And, and I think when it comes down to, from a basketball perspective, there's some different dynamics going on. You're playing in a football stadium. So the two years mm. I coached with the Detroit Pistons, we played in the Silver Dome, the same place that the Detroit Lions played in. It's a different dynamic right yeah. now. So there's more things going on, but all it comes down to is three things. You got to run the court, you got to guard somebody, you got to make your layups. Mm. And right now, San Diego State's got that opportunity to do all three and do it better than their opponent. And that's why they will win that's the right. national championship. I love it. Yeah. I know. Are we going to start singing? I believe that we will win. Okay. I believe. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Michael, thank you so much for being thank here this you. morning. We'll, we'll probably talk to you again when they yeah, win. Yeah, when they that's win. That's right. Okay. We will. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.